Let me explain to you what they don't teach you in school. They don't teach you about the competence hierarchy. What does that mean? It means that to increase your worth, to increase the amount of money that you make, to make more money, to double your income, you need to get great at a particular skill. If you go to the doctor, they charge you a certain fee per hour. If you then go to a specialist, they charge you even more. And depending on the complexity and the amount of research that you've put into the particular area, you can actually charge more and more and more based on how good you are at a particular skill. That's the competence hierarchy. That's what capitalism is all about. So you're very lucky that you're watching this video because you have access to skills that can increase your worth. And so if you want to increase your worth, then I want to talk to you about the cyclone of growth today. What is the cyclone of growth? The cyclone of growth are the ingredients that you need in order to scale your income, to scale your impact, to scale your skills such that you can earn more, so that you can work less, so that you can double your income. Let me ask you a question. Is it actually possible to double your income? Can you actually double your income? The answer is yes. Is it then possible that once you double your income, that you double your income again? The answer is yes. And then once you double your income that second time, are you able to compound double your income again? The answer is yes. What's the upper limit on that? What's the upper limit to the point where you, you can no longer double your income? Well, there is no hard, fast rule as to where your income, income can get to until you can stop doubling. You can double, 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 double to infinity and beyond until you become a billionaire, right? That's the, that's the honest truth. But how do you do that? Now, I am Oscar Chavez. I've worked with hundreds of companies. I am the chairman of the boardroom who has the experiences of over 17 billion in mergers and acquisitions, help companies increase their sales by 1.2 billion, and also done 50 rapid turnarounds. And through these various experiences and working with various different business owners trying to scale their business, I see the same mistakes being made over and over again. So I developed this cyclone of growth model so that I can quickly dissect and understand a business where the bottleneck is, remove that bottleneck so that you can scale your business to double, double, double. Now, let me explain to you the cycle of cyclone of growth. Now, what we have to understand as business owners is that the governing principle of business is to return equity back to shareholders. That is what you're in business for. When I talked to Steve Baxter from Shark Tank, from Channel 10 Shark Tank, we talked about business. We talked about investment because he invests millions of dollars into company, into companies. And we talked about what does it take for you to invest in companies? What are you looking for from entrepreneurs? What are you really after? And one of the things that was so true is that it is about profitability at the end of the day. It's about taking a proven concept and really being able to scale that out. And one of the things that he said he loved about what he does is that he gets to make people's dreams come true. And I think if you get that passionate about what you do, if you get that passionate about your business, if you get that passionate about what you do when you wake up in the morning, then you have to win. Now, you marry that with the ingredients in this cyclone of growth, which I'm about to run you through, and I guarantee you can double, 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 double your income. First concept in the strategy, or sorry, the cyclone of growth, is what we call strategy. Now, what is a strategy? The strategy is what you're using to develop equity on the other end. So you're doing something to generate equity to return back to stakeholders. And the strategy is what you do to return equity back to stakeholders. It's the ingredients. If I gave you my recipe for sourdough bread, I guarantee you, you'd need to put a good 24 hours into this bread because it's sourdough, it's naturally fermented, has long uh, wait times, has high hydration. It is honestly a tightly engineered loaf of bread and is one of the best loaves of bread you can get in your life. I, I guarantee that. If you've tasted my bread, you know that I make one of the best loaves. Now, the reality is that if I gave you the ingredients and the strategy that I use to bake that loaf of bread, then your quality would be as good as long as you had the techniques and the tools down pat. As long as you had the right tools, as long as you had the right practice, if I gave you that strategy, you would be able to replicate my loaf of bread. And so the strategy is what you're doing in order to generate the equity back to the, to the shareholders. It is what are you doing? So the strategy is fundamental. It is the basis of the cyclone of growth. What you do, is very important. What problem do you solve for the market? Mel Perkins from Canva, the CEO of Canva, is a multi-billion dollar company, or at least a billion dollar company. It's a unicorn by all intents and purposes. 
She says the, the governing principle in business or the thing that led her to be successful is that she understood what problem she's solving. She said, if I can understand, if I can solve a meaningful problem for my clients, then I can build a platform that is meaningful to my customers such that they would pay for it. So you need to understand what problem you're solving. That has to be fundamental. And that boils down to your strategy. What are you doing in order to grow your company? Now, what is, so I'm going to explain to you as well, what is the cyclone of growth? It is this step-by-step framework you need in order to exponentially scale your business. And so I'm going to explain each of these components in this video in terms of what you need to do. So that's number one, the strategy, write that down. You need the right strategy. The next component is, and I'm going to cover these in order because this is very important. Sales is the first one. The next one is branding. The next one is marketing. And the last one is authority. Now, let me cover each of these ones in depth. From a See, some people get to marketing way too early. They start blogging, they start SEO, they start developing content like this. Uh, they start a guest featuring on things. And what that really does is takes them away from the real work that is sales. Sales is calling someone and saying, hey, are you interested in my product or service? No, okay, hang up, next one. Hey, are you interested in my product or service? Hey, no, okay, ne- next one, bang, hang up. Next one, hey, are you interested in my product or service? Okay, no, hang up. Hey, are you interested in my product or service? Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to send you a contract. You can review the terms. If you're happy with the terms, then you can sign the agreement. We can get started. That is sales. And unfortunately, most people are very uncomfortable with sales. And so what happens is they start to do all these other things which distract them from moving the needle in revenue. They stop focusing on the things that are generating sales in their business and they get incredibly distracted. So a lot of companies put the wrong thing first. They don't do the first thing first and they focus on marketing and it dilutes their resources, dilutes their effort and stops them from generating a profitable business. So the first principle is sales. Don't forget that. The next one is branding. What are we going to stand for as a brand? Let me let me break down brand a little bit for you. There's a couple of different components of brand. Branding is one of the things that branding is, is what your customers say about you right? What your customers say about you. Very important to a brand, to building brand equity. One of the other things is, well, what what, what color schemes, what emotions are we putting out there in the market? Are we just doing the same thing that our competitors are doing? Are we doing something very unique that's differentiated? Uh, Branding is, is all about the promises you make to your customers. Branding is about the emotions. Do you have some level of authority in your branding? What type of brand are you building so that you can build your sales presentations around that brand? What kind of results have you generated with your brand? And so branding is very important. The next part then when you have that down pat is all about marketing. What are we doing from a marketing perspective that is getting out there to our customers, that is helping them understand the problem we solve for them, so that you can build your proposition around that. It's about understanding the problem that you solve as a company. That's where your marketing takes effect. And then you've got authority, which is where have you done this before? Authority is based on experience, is based on your ability to become a thought leader, based on your experiences within that particular demographic between that audience. Now, if you have these components in place, you have a good sales strategy, you have a good branding strategy, you have a great marketing strategy, and you have a great authority strategy, then you're going to win. That's the reality of it. Because when they compare your product and service to the competition, there is no competition because you've given them a delightful sales experience. They know that your brand is reputable. They know that you that your marketing messages resonate with who they are as individuals. And then you've got the right authority to mean that you, you walk the walk. You don't just talk the talk. There's a lot of people out there that talk the talk, but cannot walk the walk. And so that's what authority is all about. Now, on the outer nucleus of the cyclone of growth, we've got number one, market segment. Very important, market segment. And I'm going to cover that in a moment. The next part is what's the irresistible offer? The irresistible offer. And the next part is what is the risk reversal guarantee. All these components need to formulate part of your strategy 
to enter the cycle of growth so that you can double, double, double your income. Now, market segments are very important. Market segment will determine how effective your message can be within that market. I'll give you an example. When you work, when I've worked with billion dollar companies, they actually generate various different segments. So if you're talking to a bank, you have to speak in a very specific banking language. If you're speaking to enterprise, you need to speak very enterprise specific language. If you're selling to uh, insurance companies, which kind of is financial services, you have to have a specific language. If you're selling to e-commerce stores, you have to have a particular language. Market segment means that you are focused and that you are generating results and that you are understanding the problem that you solve within that market. You have to have a very, very narrow market segment in order for you to be profitable. If you don't have your market segment well articulated, then unfortunately your business just won't grow at the level it needs to grow. It'll be hard to get customers. It'll be hard to retain customers. It'll be hard to provide the results. It means that the uh, the efforts that you're putting into your business won't all be generating synergy. What is synergy? Synergy is in, in simple forms. It is one plus one equals three. Synergy is what you can get to multiply the efforts that you have. One plus one equals three. Some people call this intentional congruence, which is another word I love, uh, but that's really what you're looking for in your business is synergy. So that when you're focused on a particular market segment, that every piece of collateral, every uh, lead magnet, every sale that you produce adds to the whole in a big way so that one plus one equals three or one plus one plus one equals six or one plus one plus one plus one equals 10. That's what you want in your business. That's what you want. You want that synergy and you can't get that unless you have the right market segmentation. That's just the reality. So if you're building a business right now, think about your market segment and how you can make sure that all of the effort that you put into the business generate substantial returns so that you get one plus one equals three. That is the equity that you need to return back to the shareholders. And if you're a shareholder in your business, then your governing principle should be returned to return equity back to yourself. Now that's outside of the, the why and that all the, the fundamental things that you need is a bit, you need a strong why and you need a strong mindset. Actually, before you even talk about cycle and growth, you need the right mindset because if you don't have the right mindset, you won't grow the company the way the company needs to be grown. You won't put in the discipline. You won't have the habits. Your inner dialogue will lead to self-sabotage. Now let's leave mindset to the side for a moment. This is for those of you who are scaling past that point that you've got the right mindset, you've got the right hunger, and you've got the right drive to go. So that's market segment. You've got to have the right market segment in place. The next part is what's the irresistible offer? In some of the companies that I work with, the irresistible offer is to take three months worth of your work and tons of confusion out of those three months and we'll do it in three weeks, just three weeks. That's all you need to give us. So you can either go do this on your own for three months uh, from a a readiness evaluation framework. That's one of the things we provide is a readiness evaluation framework. You can go and try yourself. You can go and have all the various stakeholder interviews. You can try to understand what you want to be doing from a strategic perspective. You can try to go and bridge the tactical to the strategic, the executive to the management layer. Uh, You can try to do all these things yourself, which will probably take you four or five months, uh, which is very difficult, or we'll do it all for you in three weeks. Now, that's an irresistible offer because in the customer's mind, they're thinking, wow, if I had to do this all on my own, it could take me three or four months and I might do it wrong. Actually, in fact, I'll probably do it wrong. So why don't I just use your company to help me and you'll do it all for me in three weeks? That's the offer. What pain are you alleviating from your client so that you can generate solid returns for them? If you have an irresistible offer, then you can step into the cyclone of growth. If you don't have an irresistible offer, then unfortunately you'll get very slow and hopefully linear growth, hopefully, but unfortunately it probably won't be linear. You'll probably either stand still or you'll go backwards. That's the reality of it. If you don't have these components in your cyclone of growth, that's the offer. The next part is the irrefutable guarantee, the irrefutable guarantee. What does that mean? It means risk reversal. It means that you take all the the, the risk for your clients. It means that you help them reconcile the fact that doing it on their own without you is actually riskier than trying to do it on their own. That's what you're trying to do. Every great business owner, every great CEO, what they do apart from returning equity back to shareholders, is they're a good judger of risk. That's really what they do. They understand risk. They understand uh, they, they understand what risks are in their business 
and which are manageable risks in order for them to generate profit on the other side. That's really what business is all about. It's about risk management. And so what you have to do in your business is help them understand that the risk of doing this without you is actually much more substantial than the risk of them working with you. And if you can do that, so that could be done through things like uh, termination for convenience clauses. It could be done by things like money back guarantees. It could be done like, seriously, you need to put some good effort into your guarantee so that you can convert your clients. Now, if you can do this, your business will grow because what you'll have is you'll have the fuel, which is the marketing engine running. People will be uh, wanting to have conversations with you. You'll have a great sales process to, to have a chat with them. Then the branding will give them trust. The authority will mean that you, that they believe what you say. Then you've got the market segmentation so that you know you're the perfect solution for them. You've got an irresistible offer and an irrefutable guarantee. And I promise you that you can step into the cyclone of growth and you can double, double, double your income. Now, for those of you who are like, you know what, that's some good high level information. I need some more tangibility. I need some meat on those bones, much more meat. I actually developed this whole template to run you through every single question in the cycle of growth, every single question that you need, including uh, guidance that I'm going to give you, right? Guidance to explain every single thing. You're just going to pop your answers in here. And what that's going to do is give you absolute clarity on how to step into the cycle of growth. And then you're going to have an action plan. Then we're going to help you create a revenue forecast so that you can have a plan to achieve your goals. Because the reality is if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So type me in the comments below and I'm going to send you this template, the entire template, all yours free, no of charge. Why? Because I know that I have, what's this, what's this one here? I have, here it is. I have a, a, a wonderful offer, right? A, 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 an amazing offer and an irrefutable guarantee. So if you type in me in the comments, I'm going to send you this whole workbook. You can do everything and it's going to show you how to step into the cyclone of growth. My name is Oscar Chavez. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time. Type me in the comments and we can continue the conversation. We shall talk soon. Goodbye.